See how easy, I'm not even breaking a sweat. Frank, what is this thing? You got a new fridge in here? It, it is 34 degrees, that's what it is. You know the one problem we have right now? What's that? Is that this part is empty. What are you gonna fill it with? You're supposed to put the whiskey in there. Whiskey. <laughs> We're gonna talk about how to drill holes in thick metal. So I did a video years ago, and I mean, 50-50, man. 50% 50 of the people are like, now safety glasses, and the other 50% is uh man that's the most that's the greatest information i've ever found so i decided we're gonna go down here and redo but the reason we're redoing it is because some awesome people sent me some awesome products that i want to show you here's what we're gonna do we got good old quarter inch super hard hrpo plate pretty hard this metal here this is different than most metals it's hard to drill holes and you can see somebody drilled a really top-notch a quality hole in that already so we're going to show you we're going to show you how to duplicate that process both with a hand drill and this here drill press right behind me so this company right here ttp hard drill bits right they sent me this stuff they they saw the video that i keep referencing with all the hatred they sent me a whole bunch of sizes let's see how what's the biggest one i got half inch from eighth inch all the way to half inch they sent me a whole big old pack of them here so they run a different angle on the cutting tip i found out i did some research on their website don't quote me on the angle but it's like a 135 or something like that but anyway so we're going to give these suckers a whirl so you dip your drill bit in this stuff and if you've ever been around a machine shop, which that's what machinists do is they cut holes in metal, right? If you ever go around a machine shop, this has that exact same odor as all the fluids that they're using in their machine shop. And I gotta tell you, it really does extend the life. You see, we've used it quite a bit. It, it uh, really, really does extend the life of a drill bit. I, I'm blown away by it. So anyway, so we're gonna drill some holes, you ready? Let's get. Yep. So we're gonna mark us a hole on this piece of plate right here. My favorite thing in the whole wide world is one of these grease pencils. So let's just say I wanna cut me a hole right here on this end of the plate. What I like to do is I'll hook that piece of plate and I got my marker. Can you see that there, bud? Mm -hmm. I wanna go inch and a half. I make me an arrow pointing to the side of the thing that I want. And I'm gonna flip this around and let's say that I wanted to be Right at three and an eighth, let's say, just to make it easy. So I'll make me another thing right there, right? So now I've got a pretty good coordinate on where I want the center of that. And on the drill press here, that's super easy to nail that. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put this piece in that vise first. In this drill press, I frequently don't even bother with a pilot hole. But if you wanted to, you could use a smaller bit and then progressively work yourself bigger than that. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna save wear and tear on the on the split tip on this on this big bit. You're not gonna have you're not gonna just flat wear that out. So if we start with a small pilot hole and then we go to the next side, let's say we start with an eighth to get our center, then we go up to like a half or a quarter or a three eighths or something. Something like that until we get up to our big hole here, right? Boom, we'll use that one. So you're gonna be able to swivel this thing around to get in your spot that you want, right? Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna put a little bit of lubricant on there. So we're gonna take our cut it TTP stuff you just literally just dip the tip in there move it around just a little bit raise this back up get aim now once you get all that tightened down we can hit go keep your digits out of the way you got your PPE on right here we go Now the key with something like this is don't don't force it. Just 
like see my hand I'm not grabbing this like a steering wheel and hanging on tight I'm just I'm just giving it a little bit of pressure and you'll watch you'll start seeing that see the curly cues coming off of it those are called cutting oh yeah and here in just a second you'll see that thing plow through like that now we're done with that bit we can grab the next one So, now we can put our big bit in. There it is. So, we're gonna go up to our half inch bit. And like I say, the whole reason that I would recommend doing this is because this is a super hard plate. And we're just going from, you know, we're trying to save that tip on this big bit. We just don't wanna kill it, you know? It's a brand new bit. That was easy. Now we're gonna do it the hard way. We're gonna do it by hand. So now you're gonna use this instead of the drill press? Mm -hmm. So I could just go in here, like I said before, and I could just chuck this thing up and go for it, just plow through it. But let's try to be a little bit more, little work a little smarter, not harder, right? So I'm gonna mark my hole again here. Cause I wanna show you another step that I do when I'm using a hand drill. So the best thing in the world you could do right now at this point, is to use one of these things, it's called a center punch, right? But what we want to do is we want to make a good spot so our drill bit don't walk on us. You get yourself a center punch and a good old hammer. And you're just going to make a divot for that, for that point on that, for that split point on the drill bit to ride, right? So I got it set up here on my, on my vise and a good hard spot to hit against. We're just going to see that hole we made that's gonna make it to where our drill bit don't walk on us so we're gonna go a little bit bigger this time we're gonna use a 3 8 When I started this, I didn't put a lot of pressure down because if I put too much pressure down at the very start of my hole, it's gonna tend to try to snap that end of the bit off. So for bit life, I don't put pressure on it until I'm like down in the hole. Boom. Now we're gonna put on the big one. like that there you go okay guys so you know that was real easy to do we didn't put a lot of pressure on the drill most of the pressure I was exerting is keeping the drill bit in position and not forcing it down with these TTP drill bits they're the best ones I've had so far and I bought a lot of dang drill bits so description down there has a link to the site they got some educational materials on their site about how to use these things and stuff like that. Till next time, guys, you know, we're hoping to bring you as much value as we possibly can with this kind of stuff. I know this is real basic, but there's a lot of people out there proven by the last time I did this video 10 years ago um, that, do, that do need help with this kind of stuff. So if you have an idea of something like this that you want me to try to cover in a video, make sure and hit us up. Just shoot us a message um, or give us a call, whatever. But uh, uh, till next time, make sure you like this video, subscribe, maybe share it with a buddy or two that needs to learn how to drill. <laughs> we'll talk to you later.